Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kiana and I do a lot of sewing and fashion videos. And today we have my everything I made in 2023 video. A lot happened in 2023, including me buying this house. So I didn't end up making as much as in previous years. Like in previous years, I've made like 50 plus garments, but we have a good amount of stuff plus bonus at the end. I'm gonna show you all the other little things I made like rugs, disco ball, tissue holders, plates, all that fun stuff. But you guys know me for fashion, so we're starting with fashion. And we're gonna go in chronological order through the year. Starting with the first thing we made this year, the puff heart dress. This has my heart. It did end up going like pretty viral on each platform, just because I feel like it's so unique. Also, it's just so fun. I do have a sewing pattern for this, though the sewing pattern isn't one of my most popular ones, just because it's like, yeah, like when are we making a giant puff heart dress? I understand, but it is fun. And every time I see someone post a picture with this dress made, I'm like, oh my God, amazing, beautiful, fun, fabulous. Oh, by the way, all the sewing patterns for each item will be listed down below in order. And I will also link the videos to each thing down below. So check that listing description. It's gonna have all the info for you. Next, we have the first garment or first thing ever that I really crocheted. I crocheted a belt once when I was like eight years old. So don't call me a liar. I also think I crocheted a headband once as a child, but this is like really the first thing that I crocheted. I used someone else's sewing pattern. So I'm gonna link that down below from Etsy. I found it very warm, kind of too warm, honestly. I'll get sweaty in her. We added a bow. We added some lace scallop trimming, which I just like made up by myself. Yeah, cute. Next is this dress that I made after watching the Wednesday Addams series on Netflix. Um, I, just like the rest of the world, was obsessed with that TV show. So I made a dress inspired by Wednesday Addams. And it's also very me, like, come on, love her. Do I have a sewing pattern for this? Yes, I will link it down below. I also wore this on Halloween, giving candy to trick-or-treaters at my house. My most viral dress I have ever made, my 24th birthday dress. And oh my gosh, I'm turning 25, literally in less than a month. I'm getting old. Someone commented the other day that I was in my mid twenties and that shocked me. I said, who? Who was in their mid, me? <laughs> no, I don't think I'm old. It's just the kids. The kids on the internet have been calling me old and it's freaking me out. Anyways, so I made this dress out of my grandmother's dress that she wore to my parents' wedding back in 1991. So I upcycled it. Yes, I did have her permission to upcycle it. The internet was very angry because they thought I didn't. She gave me her permission and guess what? She loved this dress because my grandma is amazing, wonderful, perfect, so supportive. And I loved her with all my heart and she loved this dress. Next, my most popular sewing pattern that I've ever posted, the flounce dress pattern. The first one I made was this. This was actually still like kind of part of the prototypes. It had like four prototypes for this dress, but this is the style A of the pattern. If you made it out of cotton, this could be a casual dress. Oh my God, we should make this out of cotton. And then we could like add little bows on. Wouldn't that be cute? Yeah. We it's should do okay. it. Um, but yeah, this is like the more casual version. It could be a cute little wedding guest dress, but this is my favorite thing I have ever made. This pink flounce dress, literally gorgeous. Did it take a long time? Honestly, yeah, but it only took like three days maybe like to sew it, which is like kind of a long time. Most of the time I can like get it out, but yeah, this is more of a complicated thing. This is more of an advanced pattern. Also, this and this is me and Bella's like claim to fame. Not actually. We're just so proud of the video we made with this dress. Do you remember the ceilings trend? That song's like, it's over and you drive me home. That one. <laughs> we filmed a video to that with this dress. It took us two hours and it was amazing. Actually, watch the video. We're putting it in. Ready? Go. But it's over and you drive me home. I don't know the words. We get up to go. You kiss me in the car. I've seen before, but it's not real. And you don't exist. Oh, the last time I was kissed in the car. And it feels like the star of a movie I've seen before. So. Love this dress, favorite thing I've ever made. And the last dress in the series 
is this black flounce dress. Look at the freaking chiffon, dude. The polka dots, it's gorgeous. I love this dress. It's one of my favorite dresses to wear if like I'm going to a nice dinner or something. She's so cute. But it's just this dress, just the mini version. Love. Next dress is one I made in eight hours. I made this dress for a sponsorship for Fiskars. You know Fiskars, the orange handled scissors, you know them. I partnered with them this year to use their products and make a little Instagram reel and TikTok. But yeah, I literally made this dress in one day. We photoshooted it the same day. Oh, this is like um, a glove. But I love her. She was so easy to make. I used my turtleneck pattern and I just made it into a dress. You can also use my midi dress turtleneck pattern, make it into a dress and add the cutouts. It was easy. The fabric kind of did all the work. No, you know, I did the work too. Let's not diminish my talents and accomplishments. Next, more of that chiffon polka dot fabric. This is such a cute little tie front dress. I've worn it to the pool with my bathing suits. It's a little cover up. I've worn it over dresses, just like how it's styled here. I've worn it over outfits. I kind of want to make a long version. I feel like that would be gorgeous, but there's also a sewing pattern for this one too. And this dress under here, we won't talk about it too much, but this was a prototype or some dresses we're gonna see a little bit later on. Next was Dula Peep. Yeah, I made her Met Gala dress from this year. It was a 90s, I think, Chanel dress and Dua Lipa wore it to the Met Gala. This was my nightmare, but also it went super viral. So like, I guess it was kind of a dream come true, but it was a nightmare. I'm not gonna lie. It was a nightmare to make. We made, when I say we, me and Bella, because Bella was my assistant at the time. Everyone say bye, Bella, we miss you. She's in Italy right now, so sad, but she helped me with a lot of it. But we made the bodice. This is a separate bodice. We made the skirt. There's a petticoat under the skirt. We made that too. We made all the pieces to this girl and it was complicated. But I loved it. It was really fun to shoot and it's so fun. I would like to wear it somewhere So someone invite me to a Met Gala where I can wear the knockoff dress that I made now We have not one not two but three bikinis. Are they all the same? Yes, because I wasn't gonna do a sewing pattern. I made this bikini. Why did I make this bikini? Maybe this was the prototype. I'm suddenly confused. Maybe I was gonna make a sewing pattern I think that this was the prototype and then I made two different versions of it because I did a cheeky version and a full coverage version. Also the tops can be worn two ways. You can wear it like the normal halter way or wear it upside down and do this like strappy design, which is the way that I always wear them. Remember that dress I told you to remember earlier, the prototype? Well, we have four versions of it. So this was actually another prototype because we wanted to do a prototype of it long. We did make some changes, so this is not the final version, but it's good enough to the point where like, I still wear this out. Like this is still a nice, dress she gives. Um, I believe, actually, I'm a liar though because I believe that Bella made this. Yay, Bella. Cut it to Bella. Then we have the final version, this red dress. Oh my gosh, I love her. This is like probably like my most worn thing that I've made this year. I wear it all the time. She gives. The way that it's so long because I made it maxi length, she's giving supermodel. You wear it with some high heels. Oh my gosh you're giving supermodels, so I love this. Every time I wear it, I get a ton of compliments. I went out the other night with it to a bar and to my friend's place. Everyone complimented me on this dress. And then I said, thanks, I made it. Love her, also the bow, also the lace, come on. We also have it in a mini dress version. Love the little baby blue, but honestly kind of not because it's not really my color palette, but she is cute. Like in theory, she's very cute for somebody else. Not me who only wears like dark colors, but she is a cutie pie, like little Cinderella. And then this one I do wear a good amount. This is the tank top version, little split color tank top. I have a pattern for this. It comes in tank top, like crop top, mini dress and maxi dress. Next, we're already at Halloween. So I made this dress last year, but this year we did update her a little bit. We added some rhinestones to look like blood because this was a vampire costume. I updated the sides with some red string, but really all I did was add the rhinestones, which only took like a couple hours. This is very new and it is one of my favorite things I made this year. The sleeves are absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of like villain fairy tale. Um, I wish I could wear this out and about, but people would probably be quite scared. Actually, you know what? I don't care if they're scared of me. Maybe I should wear it. 2024 is my year. It's time to scare people in public. I should wear this. I'm not gonna wear it, but it's really cute. I really love her. Next, another Halloween costume was Harley Quinn. I actually just posted this pattern. It's like a fitted vest pattern, very sexy, very tight. Here's Harley Quinn. It was like the old cartoon Harley Quinn. So vest, look at that top stitching. Come on, contrast stitching. And then the skirt 
too. Also for Halloween, everyone knows my best friend, Sarah. I made her a poison ivy costume as well. Actually, to be honest, my assistants really helped with this one. Like Bella made a lot of it. I did sew a lot of it and then Noelle stitched these ivy leaves on it. But yeah, Sarah wore this for Halloween and we were poison ivy and Harley Quinn. Next, I made a dress inspired by a vintage cake. Kind of random, however, how freaking cute is this? Look at the heart, come on, look at the heart, look at the boning, look at the lace, like she's beautiful. I wanna do like a photo shoot of this in my kitchen when my kitchen is done with like some cookies, like a little like 50s like baking thing. She's beautiful, She. this is also one of my favorite things I made this year. This I really can't wear out, but like I said, maybe 2024 is the year of frightening people in public. This, you're gonna see this again in next year's video because while it was sewn last year, I didn't post it until this year. You did see this skirt last year. I did make this little charm skirt. I have a pattern for this as well. It's the same as the mini skirt from Harley Quinn. And this is the same as the vest from Harley Quinn, but it is a lace up closure. And this one is in denim. But yeah, I just posted this. Actually, technically I, I, I posted it yesterday, but I'm not even releasing the pattern until tomorrow in my current timeline. When you see this video, it's gonna be released. And the last thing that was made was Sarah's New Year's Eve gala dress. Look at the ostrich feathers. Look at the bow bodice, very cute. It's velvet. I made this to fit Sarah for a little New Year's Eve gala she was going to. But I tried it on too because I'm jealous of her. She's letting me borrow it right now, but it's gonna go back to her. Yeah, so those are all the clothes I made this year. Let's get into some of the bonus items that I also DIY'd. 2023, I was kind of behind on the disco ball trend, but I disco balled some ish. Here's my tissue box that I keep in my 50s kitchen. Like, look at her, she's a disco ball. Then I also added this to a globe, which um, you guys were upset about, okay? I'm not gonna lie, like, hurt my feelings a little bit. We were really angry that I put stuff on this like old globe. People were like, it's vintage. Guys, it was from Home Goods. I thrifted it, but the Home Goods tag was still on it. But I love her. Little bows, little lace, very me. Um, I did some more crocheting. Please ignore the fact it doesn't fit this tissue box. This tissue box is from Costco and it's like enormous. This fits normal tissue boxes, but it's yeah, it's like a little cake, a uh, little vintage cake. Call me grandma because I feel like my grandma had that in her house too. Also, I enjoyed tufting this year. Um, made this little Karomi rug. Did you guys know I like Karomi? If you watch my shorts, you should because I love Karomi. And made some little coasters for my studio. Heartbreak and cherries, very me. I have been working on this all year. I'm gonna insert some clips. I designed jewelry this year in collaboration with Every Jewels. You can still get it, it might be on pre-order. But yeah, I designed some bow jewelry, bow necklace and bow earrings in silver and gold. And like, you guys love them. I'm so obsessed with how these turned out. And I appreciate all the support that I got on these earrings and the necklace. Then we have my fruit plates and napkins. Let me show you the fruit plates first. I painted these at like a pottery place. I found these like heart plates. We got cherries, peaches, grapes, and kiwis. And then I also made matching napkins to go with each of them. So these were embroidered. Did a partnership with Joann's for these. How freaking adorable are these? Cause like, look, imagine you get to my house for a dinner party. I serve you your meal like this. That is so cute. And then last but not least, with all of the scraps from this year, whoa, 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 calm down. <laughs> with all, oh, <laughs> all the scraps this year, I made this ottoman and it is so heavy because it used four full trash bags of scraps and we cut them up into really small pieces and that's how we fit four trash bags, <sighs> four trash bags of scraps into that ottoman. It is dense and it is heavy and it is amazing because we wasted no fabric. But yeah, that is everything I made in 2023. My favorite thing, definitely still this dress. She is by far my favorite thing I think I've ever made, not just in 2023, but let me know what you loved. Let me know what was your favorite thing I made this year. I'm gonna see if we, you know, are on the same wavelength or maybe you guys like something that I didn't really like, you know, I wanna know because also, like that would help me in the future. Like maybe I'm not making enough stuff that you like. I don't know, just give me your opinions and be nice about it if you want. It's okay, you don't have to. If you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up because it's the easiest way to support your favorite creators for free. Also feel free to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My handle is Kiana Bonolo. Subscribe, turn on that notification bell and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.